John. Hi, Julian. How you doing? All right, Jack. Hi, Julian. Hey, Okay. okay. <laughs> Shad sure gas still blowback still noises. <laughs> point in the video, I think it's very obvious that I'm extremely excited about my new gas blowback MP7. For those of you who don't know, back in the day, I used to be a KWA gas blowback MP7 main. So being able to use something like this once again is bringing me back to my roots from back in the day when Airsoft was just played in the backyard with my friends. Now if you're new to Airsoft or just don't even play Airsoft but enjoy the videos, you may not understand what a gas blowback is. A gas blowback is a type of airsoft replica that is powered by green gas, aka not smelly propane. Now this is a bit different than most airsoft replicas being that there are no batteries required. It functions more or less like a real pew pew where that every time you pull the trigger, a firing pin strikes the back of the magazine releasing green gas or propane or black gas, whichever one you're using, even red gas, and makes the bolt cycle back and forth, chambering a new round and releasing the BB out the front of the barrel. Unless of course you get sand in the breech like I did and then it will stop working. In my opinion, gas blowbacks are peak airsoft immersions for realism if that's the aspect of airsoft that you're going for. Gas blowbacks aren't necessarily the most efficient and practical airsoft option on the market, but they're definitely a blast. So if you're looking for something more realistic and a really good time, gas blowbacks is where it's at. Now, I learned a lot during this little experiment in the lake here, and it honestly gave me a ton of new ideas for videos that I'll be going to make in the future, where I test out all the different airsoft replicas underwater, and also finally leading up to an airsoft game played on the lake with boats and jet skis that I've been working on for quite a while. But for the rest of today's video, I figured I would just show you guys some of the gameplay from the first weekend when I took out my MP7 and just used it straight out of the box. No upgrades, nothing. Literally just put the cameras on and play. The first field that I'll be playing on is at a place called Paintball Explosion located in Dundee, Illinois. The field is called Parking Lot, well, because it's a bunch of pieces of cover on a parking lot. The game mode is just a simple team deathmatch. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Oh, I'm cramping. Oh, we're gonna, you're gonna game hit that. on in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go, go, go!
Hey, Jesse. Yes. I'm gonna try and get to the uh, right there. Run, go, man! Okay, I'm gonna push up on this corner. Yeah. Ready? Oh. Take it, take it, take it, it's fine. I wish I would have uh, checked that f***ing corner. What? Welcome to Airsoft. Oh. Alright, all right, moving to the mush. What? I'm gonna get to the wall. Oh, Sorry. Friendly, stop shooting in the boat. Hey, friendly, 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 friendly in the boat. Oh, man, is it hot out or is it just me? I can't tell. That's the best. Yeah, it's up there. Nice and warm, you know? Just keep the blood flowing. How are you not having a heat stroke right now? Well, the day is young. The night is young. Or the evening is young. He's a different breed. I was cut from a different cloth. <laughs> no, it's hot as f Don't get me wrong. Classic gas blow there. <laughs> oh, so I just hear. Ba, 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 ba. I'm like, what you see? Nothing. <laughs> How are you breathing in that? I'm not. Uh, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna cover it, cover me. I'm going up. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> oh, wow. Great effort. Yeah, that was alright. I'm out of ammo. After the first round ended, I ran out of ammo and gas in all my mags. So I had to head back to respawn and reload both. By the time that happened, the second match had ended. So the next map we'll be playing is called Biohazard. It's a map made up of old amusement park style buildings and has a great balance of CQB action and long range combat. Where you want to go? Well, in there? All right, ready? Thank you. No, it's okay. What the <laughs> hell? I was like... <laughs> I love to see that reaction. I got LMG guy with me. Okay. Here, Mason, get low. Okay. The second door, okay? Run, run, run. 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 Here, slide, slide, slide out. Hey, 
Mission on a win. What? Push up, pull up, get over here. Watch the corner. Go ahead, I'll turn wall, I'll turn wall. Right here. Right there, right there, right there. Big wing. And so I'm not even sure what actually happened there. A common occurrence I started to realize was that if you didn't perfectly side by side stack the BBs in the chamber, occasionally it would jam up and not feed properly, which I'm pretty sure is what happened here. This is a common problem that I've heard all throughout MP7 users, and I should have known better before I played, but I was excited and just rushed reloading my mags in between games. You can't hear it. He's behind the crate on the left. That that fucking wood thing on the left. All right. That? Yeah, the wood, the wood, that that plywood barrier with the post on it. Oh, what the hell? Why would you shoot me? What the? Yeah. That's gonna wrap up the footage from the first weekend that I played with. I actually ended up going out the second weekend and playing with it again. After learning a few valuable lessons from the first weekend, I went out and I had an awesome day. But unfortunately when I got home, I realized that I had an SD card error and my head cam files were corrupt. So I'll leave you guys here with some of the best moments that I was able to salvage from some of the first game with my head cam and then some of the second game with my selfie cam and scope cam. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>